Let's talk important topics. What's your favorite toast toppings? I haven't had toast in a long time. Like just classic bread for breakfast. I mean, I haven't had it, but if you were to ask me what I want it, generally I would probably want either marmalade, like something like marmalade-ish or, um, or like maybe like strawberry jam, maybe some strawberry raspberry-ish, something along those lines. Nutella, no, nah, I'm not big on Nutella. The, those, the, the Italians, I don't know what they're thinking with their Nutella stuff. It's just weird. Um, so no. No, it'd be like, it'd be strawberry, it'd be like strawberry jam or, um, let's go D4, strawberry jam or like, uh, or marmalade. Mmm. Nutella is fine, but you know, it's like, I, I remember I, I went to this pizza joint in Fort Lauderdale and, um, and they had, um, I'm going to go here, I'm going to be really sneaky. Okay, let's just go here. And they had this, this is actually a very ugly, a very ugly starting position, very symmetrical, very dry. I mean, it's 1,500, so I'll probably win, but very ugly kind of storm system. Very, very flat. Let's go here in Castle, I guess. That's not a great move, because now I go Knight E5. Um, actually, I can go Knight C5 as well to hit the Bishop. I mean, B3, A4, C4, maybe E4. I control all the breaks in the position. Um, but yeah, peanut butter and jelly. I've had peanut butter and jelly, not recently. I mean, I don't dislike P PB&J, but I would say it's still not my favorite. Thank you to the, the, the Rite of Spring for, for converting the tier for converting the tier one through July. Thank you so much. I see myself on t television. Okay, nice. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Blunt the night jump. Let's go here. Let's start to take space on all sides of the board. Let's go C three. Television, yeah, television. I've had PB and J. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's go E4. Toast with Marmite. I don't actually mar is Marmite like that's not is that like Vegemite or what what is Marmite exactly? Okay, let's just um let's kick the knight back. Yeah, I'm not at material, but positionally I'm crushing. Positionally it's just uh GG's pretty much. Dolomite? Or Vegemite. I, I don't know what the, all those things are, but I know there's some. They're cool. Okay, let's just take the juicer. Okay. By the way, also just to be clear, uh, there is not somebody playing from North Korea. For those of you guys who are wondering, uh, on Chess.com, you're able to um, you're able to um, you're able to uh, choose a flag. So no, it's not. Anyway, so for, first one in the books, one it's best of three, so if it's one and a half, one and a half, or if it's one, yeah, one and a half, one and a half, there's a tiebreaker, but you need to get to two and a half points to win the match. Or two, rather, I should say. I was so tempted to gambit a queen. I won't because it's it's for money, or there, there's prizes on the line, but if this was just for kind of a, I knew, if this was kind of for fun, I would have played b6 and given him a queen for a bishop, but I don't know. Let's go here. Wait, that's a free pawn? I'm just going to drop back here. Uh, let's go here and just castles, I guess. I'm just going to go E5, 96, rookie 8, of course. Let's go B5, maybe knight B6, knight, knight C4. I believe it's best of three, though, so you need to get to two points unless I'm crazy. He is playing pretty well, though. Very solid. I mean, obviously he's losing. He's losing, but he's very solid for a thirteen sixty nine. Oh, let's just go here and here. I'll just go here. Kick the rook. Go d three. How did the 1300 get to the top 16? Because you play players in your ranking range. So it, it is possible. Um, it is it is possible. Italian is a very bad opening for beginners. Very, very bad opening. Um, I do not recommend it. For beginners, I, I think you should play open systems. So things like the Scotch opening are a lot better.
Yeah, we have a second camera on for this part. Let's go here, maybe an IP5. Why it's easy? Yeah, because you know your first like five moves and then you don't know what to do after that. That's the problem. You develop, you, I mean, you go bishop c4, d3, knight three, knight three castles, and then what? That's the problem. I mean, I, I used to like the Italian because I, I used to play the Italian because I liked it. I switched to Scotch. It's so much better. I mean, come on. If XQC can play the Scotch, I mean, that says a lot. I mean, XQC is one of the premier opening experts in the game of chess. Let's take, I can take the rook here, maybe play g5 next move. Oh, I missed a fork, but it's still good. Um, seems odd for you to seven camp, second camp for Arena Kings, but not Title Tuesday. Well, Title Tuesday, it's actually not required. I mean, obviously, I could turn it on for that too, but it's not required. They got a roll, uh, roll in for the eight months. Maybe so much roll in. All right, so we win the match 2 0, um, and we move on to the next round. So I guess let's see what what other games do we have to watch. Let's see, we have um, we have some other games. I mean, Hans is playing a sixteen hundred. That's Renato's playing a sixteen hundred. Hess is playing a fifteen hundred. I mean, are there any like actual close matchups? There are like no close matchups. I mean. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're, they're like are no close matchups. Yeah, so it's what it is. Has anyone asked you for your autograph when you're out in public? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, these matches, none of these matches are close. Like, Hess is playing a 1500. Renato is playing a 1600. Um uh hans is also playing a 1600 i think like yeah it's it's not it's not pretty so yeah is potato boy a good player <laughs> i mean yeah so i'll just leave it here for now i mean i, I don't really see much happening Second round will be better, yeah. Second round will be better, of course. Actually, who do I play? I play uh, Nisu AC. Although I think Nisu is gonna win, so we'll probably play Nisu next round. If you grow out your hair, you'll you'll look much prettier. To be honest, my hair will grow out. It just takes time. Hair hair doesn't grow in a day, just like Rome wasn't built in a day. There's actually B5. Oh, B5, you just take with check on F7. Is Wonderful Time having a wonderful time? He's not actually playing, so um, yeah, not really. It's like the first round, like the Nets are, Nets, Nets are playing, kind of. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not great. How warm are your ears right now? Oh, they're um, not super warm, I don't think. They're warm. They're not crazy warm, though. Hair equals ancient Rome, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Rome equals Hikaru's hair, yeah. Right, right, yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, you guys, we'll just leave it here. Just chill, keep it, keep it real. Um, I'm gonna go boil some water, I think. So, I guess I'll go boil some water. Yeah, give me one second. Maybe not, actually. Maybe not. But, yeah. Anyway. Which headphones are better, the G Pro or the G73 or Pro X? I think the Pro X are better. I mean, these are the plugged in, ver these are the plugged in ones. I mean, I'm going to get some wireless ones as well. But I like, I mean, I think I slightly prefer this one. Let's do a third monitor for chat. Yeah, but I'm at TSM. So, kind of hard. Kind of hard. Who do I play next round? I should play the winner of the Nisu match. So, uh, Bobby's making this game go on forever. I mean, he is winning, but this game is... <laughs> there's something funny about Bobby being even on time with a 1500. Um, what happened to the Sonys? Uh, I'm partnered with TSM, and I am partnered with Logitech. So, um, so yeah, that, I think, sums it up. 
I mean, he's winning on the board, but I just mean it's kind of funny. I think he's taking it chilling. Possibly, yeah. So what if you're on TSM? How does that affect you not getting a third monitor? Uh, it doesn't really, other than it's not my own setup. So there's that too. Who are some GMs who live in California? There aren't many. Um... GMs who live in California, I mean, there used to be Walter Brown, who's no longer with us. Um, Sadie's an IM, so he's not a GM. There's Melik, Melik Hachian. Um, he's a grandmaster. There's, uh, who else is there, actually? I'm sure, there's got to be more than just Melik. I mean, Han should be the biggest challenger, although it is 960. Bortnik, who knows? What, who, uh, yeah. There's, um, yeah, as I think about it, there's... Um, Melik might be the only GM I can think of. There's there, there's Melik Kachian. Sam oh, Shankland, yeah, of course, but he's in no he's in Northern California. Um there's Shankland. There probably are a couple others that I can't think of right now. Dan Daniel was in California, but he's not. Oh, he's back in California. He's not in um he's just visiting though, probably. He lives in North Carolina though. So yeah. Okay, so next next match is, should be starting pretty soon, I think. Still not looking like it's going to be super close, though, right? I mean, yeah, I mean, all these matches are 2 two O's, so, yeah. No, in Southern California there, I mean, I actually, oddly, I can't think of any other GM besides Malik. Um, Varjan Akobin used to live here, but he's in St. Louis now. So, like, I actually, in, in Southern California, I can't think of any other GMs. I must be crazy. Harant lives here? No, Harant Mal Malkumin, he lives in Armenia, doesn't he? Unless I'm crazy. Weather is too warm, too nice in California. No one wants to stay inside and play chess. Probably true. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, I mean, it's weird, but yeah, other than Malik, Malik Hachin, I can't think of another Grandmaster in, in Southern California. Very weird. Anyway, I think we're waiting for uh we're waiting for um okay, all all the game all the matches are over. All of them were two O's, so So let's keep going. Who's harder, Bornick or Hans? I mean in, in, I would say in regular chess, I think Hans is objectively strong maybe stronger is the wrong word, but but Hans Hans is much more dangerous in terms because his openings are much better than Bortnik's. So in regular, like regular regular normal blitz chess, I would say Hans is more dangerous. And nine sixty I really have no idea. I don't I I don't think I played Hans the whole tournament, which is actually kind of odd. But I don't think I played Hans at all in this this event. And um, I didn't play Hans and I didn't play I think I played Bortnik one time, maybe? I'm not even sure I played Bortnik in this. But yeah. So yeah, that's what I would say. Do I know, know any Turkish GMs? Yeah, there are quite a few. I played Daniel only one time. It was very late in the event. It was probably in like the last 20 minutes. So yeah, it's, it's kind of odd. Uh, let me see. Who did I? I played Bornick one time. I'm just looking at this list of people who are in here. I don't think I played. I didn't play Renato. Yeah, I literally played in the top 16. I played one game against the rest of the field. I played against Bornick one time and that's it. I didn't play Hans. Yeah, I didn't play anybody else. Didn't play Renato. So I, out of the final 16, out of the 15 other players who qualified, I only played Bortnik, and it was one time. That's pretty insane, actually. Does the camera light in front of you bother you? Not really. Not so much, no. It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, actually, you're right. I did play Hess one time. You're right. I did play Hess. That's true. Yeah, I forgot that I played Hess one time. You're lucky you missed Potato Boy. He's scary. <laughs> yeah. Will um, Will Hans be the future of American chess? Very doubtful. I think. I mean, if you ask me who the who the uh, juniors who are the most potential are, I would say Tani is one of them. Although he's 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 in a much earlier stage. Abiman, um, uh, I, I always get his name wrong. Mish. What is his name? Is it, is it Mishram or Mishu Abriman? I, I I get his name confused. What is, what is his name? 
It's it's Mishra Ab Abhimanyu. Yeah, for some reason I want to say Misha because that's a Russian name that's very common. So it's Mishra Abhimanyu and Abhimanyu. Uh, sorry if I mispronounced it. There's him and probably Tani and Christopher Yu. Those are the three juniors that I think of as being the most talented for up and coming. Um, Jeffrey Zhang, obviously very very strong player. Uh, he's going to be a 2700 plus player. Will he be world championship contender? That I think is is kind of unclear. Sevian is very strong too, but Sevian. Um, Sevian's been stuck in this kind of high 2600 range for quite a while. Uh, a Wonder Liang, I haven't followed his progression lately, but may maybe A Wonder as well. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know where A Wonder's at. Okay. All right. Next game. Let's close this one. Okay. Let's go C4 target the juicer. Okay. Let's go H4. Let's be very aggressive. Let's play like a Alpha Zero. Okay. Let's go here. I mean, he's kind of asking me to attack him. Is Knight G4 really in his plan? I don't believe him. I mean, is he really okay? I mean... Oh, wait, I can't go F3. What am I doing? I was about to play F3 and Blunder Knight E3. What is wrong with me? Jeez. Let's go here. Oi, oi, oi. What was that? Was so bad. Okay, now I can play... Wait, I can also go Bishop F5... I can also play e4. I can also go. There are a lot of options here. I need to think for a second. Let's think. Not f3. e4, knight e2. I mean, look, if this is bad, it's bad, but I don't believe it. I think this knight is getting trapped. I don't really believe it. He's also 2162. Why am I. Isn't that a free knight? Yeah, it is a free knight. Okay, let's just go here, maybe. Yeah, let's go back. He's going to go like C5, D5. Okay, he goes C6. And G4 is actually caveman, and I'm up a piece, so I feel like attacking. Also, if he pushes the pawn, he loses E4. So he's kind of he kind of has problems here. Thank you, David Lowe, for the three months. Thank you so much, David Lowe. Appreciate it. Thank you. Although he's not 2162. He's actually like 2400, I think, at regular blitz. I did blunder Bishop about four, kind of. Um, do I even care, honestly? I can also just go for the kill with this. I should I should be careful though. I shouldn't be too too loosey goosey. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. Actually, I'm kind of misplaying this. It's not ideal. Let's think about this for a second. I don't want to take. I guess I'll go here and maybe Queen G two. Can I castle? I can actually castle, can't I? I just realized I can castle next move. I can also go queen e4 here. Let's just castle. And go here. I have bishop e4 for rook f3. It's not ideal, though, I have to admit. It's a little bit dangerous, the way that I've played this. I am winning, but kind of dangerous. Although this this probably is just winning winning here. Scoreboard's off. Okay, I'll, I'll update the scoreboard after after I win this game. Yeah, I'll update I'll update it afterwards. Sorry, you guys. I'll update it afterwards. Just give me one second. Should be winning because I also have a battery. Queen e4 is a battery that's good. Um, Queen c7 is a pretty good move. Uh, okay, he's trying to get in somehow. It's actually not a bad move at all. I mean, everything wins here. That's the thing. So I'm trying to find the cleanest way. I guess I'm just going to go here. Just to stop rook f3. Not even necessary, but he's got a bad knight here too. Let's go here, guard, take. Let's go here, guard the pawn. No, no nonsense. I'm gonna just go here, maybe. Or wait, no, wait, wait a second. It's actually a little bit sketchy. I've kind of misplayed this. Might have to really focus. It's not trivial anymore. I should be winning, but it's not trivial. 
Uh, that's a, I mean, that's a, that's a fork. Like he's losing another piece here. I mean, he's got no win though. That's the thing. Like I'm, I'm kind of holding everything because I can move the rook back. If he could get the queen here, he'd win. But I also just have queen h2, and he's down two pieces. So long term, long term, everything should be holding here. And he goes there. I can obviously just don't want to take. Let's go here. Now the rook is under attack. There's no fork. Let's just take and block, and this is over. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to update the sheet in a second. Oh, he didn't resign. Okay, let's take. Okay, there we go. Let me update the sheet. Wait, that's the wrong one. Okay. Let me just update you guys. There we go. One second. I'll, I'll accept the rematch in a second. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the I'll leave the one one up for right now. Actually, you know what? No, let's let's keep going. Should be like this. There we go. All right. Um, let's play D five here. Lock it in. Let me minimize this. Okay, there we go. All right, what happened? He castled. Okay. Um, I guess I'll castle too. Why not? Okay. I think I'm, I think the point is I need to build the center here. I'm gonna go here, knight c4, maybe or knight d6. Let's go here. Target this pawn. He's gonna have to move the bishop, and now I remove this, and I go like knight. Oh, now I go knight here, maybe? I don't love my position, although I can go bishop d7 at some point. I think it has sea fish for the two months. I think so much as sea fish. Okay, that looks definitely wrong. Let's go h5, maybe h4. Okay, now I'm going to angle him with bishop g4 because the pawn supports it. Hans versus Robert. Hans should win. Um... Also, my opponent has a dead bishop on b1. It just occurred to me he's got a dead bishop right now, kind of. Let's go here. I'm going to try to win this in a very thematic way. Um, let's go here. Target the target the bishop. Oh, Hans is losing? He lost the first game, really? Okay, so I'm going to... Uh... So I'll go here and take. Not a great position, but I'm trying to do something thematic where I just win the game because he has a dead bishop. Is that why Hikaru wins everything? It's in the hair, right? Yes. Oh, he lost with white too. Wow. Okay. Let's take. I can make a check here. I'm going to try to win this very thematically, basically. I thought I had check. Oh, that's a bad. That's a very bad move by me. It goes there. I guess I go here. Let's go here. I mean, I am winning because he's got a dead bishop, I think. And he always has to worry about it, too. That's the problem. Like, he can't just unworry about the bishop. Or unworry? Wait, he can't just suddenly stop worrying. Um, okay, let's just, again, let's stick to the thematic chess here of just forcing it into an endgame where he has a terrible bishop. Yeah, I said unworry. It's like, as soon as I said it, I realized, like, that's not a word. Let's go here, target the pawn. It's just got a dead bishop. The bishop is just dead. Let's go here. Oh, oh, he can play knight d2. Okay. But actually, this is going to be even meaner because he's going to lose now because it. Yeah, this is going to be even meaner what I'm doing to him. I'm just going to go here even. This is just so mean. He can't push the pawn. He's just got a dead bishop. 
kind of mean of me to do this to him, but yeah, I just got a dead bishop. He can never push the pawn because I take, and he can't he can't move the knight or the bishop. It's just glued. It's perma glued. He resigns. Yeah, we went to zero. Just dead bishop pushes. I just take, and then he has to move the knight or lose the lose the bishop. And if he doesn't, I mean, if he comes this way, he loses this one. So like the only thing he can really do, whoops, is um, is he can go like wait, but then I just very calmly just relax, relax. I can probably just relax. I can go like um, I can probably reset, and then I just slowly bring my king up and win the game. Like he goes like here, and now I can even go knight c4. And if he trades, I just take and I'm bringing the king up and eating his bishop on b1. Very very uh, tough game for my opponent, but we get the win. All right, let's watch the Hans game. Um, yeah, let's watch the Hans game. Here we go. It's 1-0, right? Hans is winning, right? No, Hans is winning this game. Yeah, Hans is going to win this one. So it's going to be 1-1. One, one. So, yeah. So anyway, yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to take a short break. I'm going to just gonna clear my head a little bit in, in preparation for the semifinal. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, we're back. What happened? Did we miss something? Hungry? Yeah, I just I have a little bit of fruit left over from this morning. Okay. What's going on? Robert is doing well, right? Maybe not. Actually, I can do this. You guys still see the bar. Yeah, I can do this. There you guys go. Wait, Bornick lost? What? Oh, Bornick. Oh, he's playing chess lover, though. Okay. Okay. Wow. That is surprising. Hmm. Oh, Robert just blundered. He loses the game. That's GG's. GG's. Why am I not playing? Because I already am through to the semis. That's why. Hey, see you, PNG, for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. I mean, this should be winning, but it's not trivial for um, for Hans. Hmm. Mm hmm. This also works. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't work. Wait. E4, Queen D5, GG, yeah. Bornick ended the stream. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, we're going to have a rematch, though. In, in the other semifinal, we're going to have the rematch between Hans and Renato. Last week, Hans lost to Renato. I'll just mute myself while I eat for a second. That's fine. I will just mute myself.
All right, you guys, we're back. All right. We're back. <clears throat> so let me let me adjust the sheet even further because I think I think all the all the matches are done if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, yeah, it's already it's, it's done. So let me let me adjust it even further. Um, there we go. Okay, here we go. So we're in the semifinals. I mean, most likely I'll play against Hans. Um, but like I said, Hans did lose to... Um, wait, is... One second. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Okay, so there we go, you guys. So these are the only remaining matches left um, in, in the event. We're in the semifinals right now, so we will keep rolling um, <clears throat> and go from there. Time to farm, ha farm Hans. Well, it's, it's 960, so it's much, di it's much different altogether. So I assume, I assume my match will be starting in a second. Let me just make sure. Three minutes, they said. Okay, so we should be starting in like one or two minutes. Dude, I know the guy I'm playing against. I played him. I actually did play him. I think in the uh, in the in the arena. In, in the first part, I think I did play him. Hans did. Yeah, Renato beat Hans in the semifinal last um, last time around. So it's not not a guarantee that Hans will win, uh, but I, I expect him to win. Theta Piscapats are for the two months. Do I play? Uh, do I play secret stuff? Um, uh, do I play secret stuff on another account? No. When, when, when I play, it's almost always on stream. I actually have trouble playing off stream. Like, I, I find it very hard to be motivated and play my best chess when I'm not on stream anymore. It's kind of weird, but I actually find it very hard to. Like, if I just boot up later and try to play Blitz off stream, I actually I can't find the motivation. I do very badly. I'm all in on Hikaru winning it all. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Will it affect your performance at OTB tournaments? I mean, who knows? Who knows? We'll see. Yeah, Danny did well off stream. Yeah, like I've had a couple of very bad matches off stream. Danny said I played better off stream my last Blitz match against him. I played. I actually played. I played well towards the end, but I played pretty terrible at the beginning. Like I played really badly in those first like eight games. So I'm not sure I agree with that assessment. Thank you, the great Spanish ball for the three. Because I made some really, really bad blunders. I mean, I, towards the end, I really, started, I really started finding the groove. But, like, those first eight games were not good at all. They were really, really bad. Yeah. No, it was 12-8. 12-8. It was 12-8. Yeah, I was very... The, the first, like, four games especially were really, really bad. It should be easier over, uh, off stream, but I find off stream I play a lot worse. I think it's because I can't find the motivation. Honestly, I, I I just can't find the motivation. I think if if I'm not like explaining it or there, you know, something like that, because I've done it many times. Why do I play more off stream? Because I usually stream like seven eight hours a day, and I don't really want to look at more chess other than doing studying for uh, maybe maybe like opening preparation for further online events. So I don't really want to play blitz and then play more blitz afterwards. So that's what I would say. It's the streamer energy, yeah. Meltwater, I don't think, does count as off stream because there are a lot of people watching and there's a lot of prize money, so it's very much performance matters in a different kind of way. Anyway, we should be starting very soon. Let me turn some air back on. Getting a little bit hot. Okay, here we go. Um. Oh, uh, let's play d4. I know it's the right move, but it seems right. Let's play e4 and takes. castles i guess i'll go knight f3 why not seems logical play c5 i can obviously castle i think i should just castle just knight takes i have f3 i have c3 let's go knight b3 actually what am i doing let's 
kind of dubious the way I've played this. Okay, trades I take. I mean, I have bishop g5, of course. I can play c3 first. I think I should actually go bishop g5 to hit the knight. If he plays h6, I just take. Bishop g4, I just go f3. Okay, obviously I need to bring the I need to bring my piece my knight and bishop in, and this is the only way to activate. So it makes a lot of sense. Plays h6. I can obviously go bishop h4 if I want to. I think I will actually. Why not? Queen g4, I just trade and go f3 again. Rookie feels a little dubious. Maybe it's not, but it feels dubious somehow. Okay, let's go knight c5. Queen c6, I have knight e4. I can also, actually wait, now I can bring my other knight in. Now this makes a lot of sense. Because now I'm getting exactly what I want, more or less. Not exactly, but more or less what I want, which is like knight e5. That looks dubious. Oh, wait, he's got knight f4. No, he's got ideas, actually. i got to be careful. Um, let's see, queen f3 maybe? So I'm going to play f3. It seems safer just to go bishop f2. Also, I have knight a5 at some moment. Yeah, I think a5 is a bad move because now I'm going to go knight a5 and he's going to have problems with his uh, with his knights a little bit. Knight a5, queen c7. Can't I take and take here? Wait a second. I think I can just take. Takes, I just take and go over. I also have queen e4 lurking too. Oh, he's also... Wait, I missed e4. e4 I didn't see, but I have bishop g3. I didn't actually see that you could play e4 here. I'm a little bit lucky. I didn't see e4 at all. But I don't think it works like this. Don't I have queen b5 and queen b6? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. If I go here. I don't, am I missing something? This looks winning to me. Looks winning, but... I mean, I can also sack if I need to. What's going on here? Wait, so king f2... This is really wild. Um... I have rook d8 here and ah yes check must be winning because I take 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 yes this must be winning because now I trade take and he's pinned he doesn't have an e3 check in between very important that he doesn't get e3 here now I take and take very important because if he had e3 there might be a problem because it's pinned this is just winning he has knight h1 but king g1 yeah this must be winning let's go here trap the juicer again nothing you can do with the e pawn very important Thank you to XD, uh, thank you to XD Shani. It hides the board. No, it doesn't. The second camera shows the board on the left monitor. What are you talking about? If you, if you look at the sa second camera, you'll see the board is the board is on the on on the uh, on the left monitor. What are you talking about, dude? It doesn't it doesn't cover anything? What are you talking about? A three A four is hidden. No, it's not. No, it's not. What are you guys talking about? What are you talking about, Willis? What you talking about, Willis? Okay. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to go C5 here. Now, the funny thing is I can play this like a Night Orf. Okay, let's just see. I Now, normally what I would say about traditional openings is that we... Well, that I think is a blunder because I have check. It's not a blunder. He's got C4. What am I doing? 
Okay, I guess I'll just go E5 and castle. Normally, the traditional openings, if they if you take the center, they're fine. If you don't take the center, you have problems. What do you mean it's covered? It's not covered. It's not covered, you guys. I mean, you guys are saying it's covered. I mean, whatever. I don't care. Again, I'm trying to play a tournament, you guys. Like, seriously. Like, come on. Now I just messed up the board. Let's go here. Let's go B5 next move. I mean, I'm trying to play a competitive tournament for money. Like, I mean, seriously. Go here and takes, I guess. I have knight f4 also to jump. Actually, that's a mistake. I go c4 and I thought it was a blunder. Maybe it's not. Let's go here. Like, I'm trying to play a turn with prizemen on the line. You're all, all like getting all acting like so weird. I think I'm just going to go here and takes probably. Let's go here and knight d3 next move. Of course, now I give him b3, which I shouldn't have given him. I can go queen c6 or queen a6. I don't want to go to a6 here. So I have bishop c4 if knight f5. You guys also didn't make it clear what you meant by it. I thought you meant the second camera covered it. You're saying that basically in OBS, it's cut, the board is covered. Unreal. Absolutely unbelievable. Okay, wait. So let's see. Be careful here not to throw this game. I'm just going to go here and hit the pawn at e4. And now I just blundered. Lovely. Or did I wait? I have check maybe in between. Yeah, I just blundered. <sighs> go here and take, I guess. It's not so bad, but it's still a mistake. I can draw the game. I probably can't win this, but I can. This is definitely, yeah, it's probably I just have to draw. Yeah, I just have to draw this game. Doesn't matter so much, though. A draw is fine here. Okay, doesn't. It actually tries to play on. Kind of interesting. Okay, let's go here. Knight e4 is a bad move, too. I should have gone to g8. Yeah, I'm actually trying hard to throw this game. Let's go. Here, I guess I, I definitely need pieces traded. If I trade, I should be able to draw this. Let's go here, maybe. I should have checked and played knight e4, maybe. Let's just go play h6. Knight h4, I have king h7. I have g5, maybe? It's got bishop b1. That's a mistake, though, because I can go here and I can check. And now I hit the pawn also. I hit everything all at once. Maybe knight d3 is better than knight e4. I don't know. Let's see. I guess I'll go in here. Because I have knight f1 still. I also have g5 as well. I, oh wait, g5 loses. What am I doing? 
So let's go here and hit the bishop. I have knight f1 still. He's also super low, I realize. We're both low. Come on, mouse. Don't get stuck. There we go. Okay, we got the win. There we go. Bad game. Thank you to Mr. Bankhay for the prime. Thank you to Recruiter Cast for the tier one, Maltese Rule for the tier one, and Jax, Jax me and off for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for the resubs. Um, yeah, you see, the problem is what was misunderstood was you guys said, um, what I misheard was that you said, like, it's off. So I was looking at the way that it was phrased. I was looking at the first monitor. And it's not off. It's off on the OBS itself. It's not off on the monitor. That's why I kept making it full screen. So I was looking at the board on the left with the uh, second cam. But, but it's not. It's just the actual board is covered a little bit. But whatever. It's fine. Anyway, we got the win. Um, and let's watch, uh, let's watch Mr. Robert Hess play. Or not Mr. Robert Hess, sorry. Hans and Renato play. We get the win, but it was not a good game. I missed 2093. Maybe. I'm sure I missed something in there. Don't blame it on chat now. <laughs> well, now it's what it is. Yeah. Now it's just just play. 93? Uh, I mean, I don't want to look right now. So, okay. Let's, let's see. So, who's have Hans a starter or not? Let's see. Has not... F oh, there he is. Okay, there we go. Let's watch it. Okay. Okay, let's see what's going on. So Hans is white. Renato is black. Very solid, very stable opening by both players. Okay, F6. I guess the idea is Bishop X6. Like I said, Hans lost. Last time they played in... Um, Last time these guys played in Arena Kings last week, Hans lost uh, in regular chess to Renato. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. Yeah, I won the game, yes. Uh, Renato is, I think, slightly worse. Although he can also just castle here, I guess. Just castles. Pretty flat. White maybe is slightly better. Better center, I guess. You can also get the, uh, the pyramid, the true pyramid of... Uh, the true pyramid here. I think white's very slightly better. Also, his bishop is slightly better on the diagonal than his black bishop towards here. So white is very slightly better. Shouldn't be that much, but white is better. Hans thinks he's winning. I know that's a meme at this point, so I'm, I, if you say that, I'm not going to buy it. Anyway, yeah. They had a pawn marcher for the seventh. They had a plizark for the prime. Thank you so much to plizark. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Hans thinks he's losing also a good one. Very dry position. I mean, very dry. I guess you take and just play, but very, very dry. Like Queen D7, I mean, very dry. Super dry. Thank you to Negma for the prime. Thank you to Muclera for the prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Muclera. Once again, you guys, if you do have Amazon Prime, you can connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and subscribe free to one channel every single month, you guys. So make sure you use your make sure you use your Twitch Prime. Instead of having to spend five dollars to do a tier one sub, you can use your Prime and sub to any channel free. Remember that takes five bucks out of the pocket of Amazon and or Twitch and puts it in the pocket of hardworking streamers. It does not auto renew, so you need to make sure to redo it every single. You need to make sure to reuse it every single month or resub. Um, but make sure to use make sure to use it. Doesn't have to be my channel, but any channel. Um, it, it makes it makes a difference, and there's no downside. You're paying hundred bucks to Amazon already. Why not take five bucks away from Amazon? 
or 60 bucks a year potentially. Um, so really, really important. Make sure to connect your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and use it, you guys. There are 11,250 you guys watching. I'm sure there's some of you guys who use Amazon Prime. I'm sure you guys even, even use Amazon itself. So make sure to use it if you have the opportunity. Thank you to Brock Bob for the Prime. Thank you to Vaki with the Prime. Thank you to Rusius with the Prime. Thank you to NKFS for the four months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, you guys. Um, really, really important, though, because there's no downside. I mean, it's like there's no downside and only upside. And whoever your streamer is of choice, make sure to use it. Really, really important. Uh, Prime is the same as a tier one sub, correct? Except you guys don't pay for it. It's completely free because you're already you're already um, spending so much money on Amazon Prime. What do you get with Prime or Amazon itself? Uh, you get usually quicker quicker shipping. That's the main thing you get. Um, thank you to Kev Brev DE for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Hoots for the three months as well. Thank you so much. Take money away for Bezos before he heads out into space and disappears. <laughs> Good one, you guys. Good one. Oh, right. You also get Prime Video. That's true. Prime Video, which I, I've looked at a little bit of Prime Video, but other than the Expanse, I haven't seen anything that really thrills me. Thank you to Daba Sum for the two months. Thank you to Hellmood for the Prime as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, you get free shipping, but but what is there on Amazon Prime that's great? I like the Expanse, at least, at least like the first season I liked. I mean, oh, there's the boys, the boys as well. Yes, we've watched, so we've watched some ads for the boys several times. Um, so yeah. The boys, the boys, the boys. But anyway, yeah, make sure to use it, though. Make sure to use it. Um, What's going on? Hans is better. Uh, is he better, actually? No, he's not. Bishop takes? I'm a little scared if I'm Hans. I think black can take. A knight d8, knight, knight c6, and a5. It's still a draw. Yeah, knight d8 and a5 is kind of scary here. He goes h I don't like h5. Maybe it's just, maybe it's fine, but I don't like H5. Maybe it's just fine though. What A5 now? Yeah, actually, this is gonna be a draw. Nothing Hans can do to win. So this is headed for a draw. Like A5 here, Knight C6. I mean, yeah, just trade a Knight D8, and it's just a draw. Yeah, trade Knight D8. Hans has to be careful here not to lose this, by the way. He's getting down on time. This is still a draw, but Hans has to be careful here. King c5. I mean, Hans has to be a little bit careful here. Okay, it's just, okay, Hans found the technique. Yeah, he's going to draw for sure now. Yeah, it's just a draw. Knight c5 and bishop b4. Yeah. Draw. Draw. Okay, first game is a draw. So, okay, so we're definitely going to have two more games. Say Liquid Fashy for the five. Thank you, Sally No Nosy as well for the three months. Thank you, Gavin Gorell for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Gavin Gorell. Am I going to do real estate reviews again? I will in the future. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Not not today, but I will in the future as well. So, okay, so first game ends in a draw. Very balanced game. I, 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 think, um, I think pretty balanced. I, I wouldn't say one side was really better than the other. So if you subscribe with Prime to your own channel, it's not possible to subscribe to your own subscribe to your own channel with Prime. Okay, so we get a Dutch opening here. Uh, G3, F5. I guess it makes some sense. Both players are, aren't really playing for the center. I think you're going to get F4, Bishop, D4. Maybe a wooden shield. Knight, D6, I do not like. That's a very bad move by Hans. Okay, B4. Yeah, I mean, F4, Bishop, D4. Yeah, you're going to get a wooden shield. Bishop d4. It's a classic wooden shield. And your queen's bad on a8, too. Like b5 and a4, b5 and c4. I don't really like the c4 here. c4, knight c2, and castle short. Like knight c2 and castles looks very pleasant for white. Yeah, like knight c2 and castles. And I think white's doing great. Okay, castles, probably knight e5. Actually, kind of ugly for Hans. I don't like his position at all. Like, 95 is good. I mean, computer says white is much better, which says a lot. Um, maybe knight c8 and d6. Try to go, like, d6 and c5. But, I mean, white is much better here. If Renato plays this correctly, he should win this game with correct play. Or, that's that's repetitive. But he should win if he plays if he plays this correctly. Like, bishop c3. I don't like bishop e5, actually. I don't like bishop e5 at all. Okay, so he's going to go back to c3. 
But Hans, again, he's gotten himself into a very unpleasant situation here. Like, there's going to be some E4 here, and he's going to really have big problems. Like, E4 and E5, and... Getting bad. Getting very bad for Hans. I mean, E5 is a move, but even just, like, 92 in Rookie 1, like, it... Or takes in Rookie 1 also. Okay, Rook B5 is a kind of a strange move. Probably still very strong, but it, I guess the idea is Rook A5, Rook A7, and you... Rook A5, Rook A7, maybe that must be the idea. Apparently White's winning now because of E5, right? Let me turn on the lines. Yeah, E5 is winning for White, and he plays it. Wow. Knight G4, and like... Oh, man. I'm really concerned for Hans. F takes E5, Knight G4, Rook E1. Rook E1. And h3 is coming too. This is getting very... Um, this is very unhappy. Oh, bishop d5 is apparently a mistake. Okay, so rook e1, of course. You take... That's a mistake. f3. f3 is winning for black. f3. f3, f2. Yeah, f3, f2 is winning. He finds it. Yep. Yeah. Tricky game. Very tricky game. Hans is going to find a way to win now. Yeah, because you have an even 93. GG's. Thank you to TD, TTV Minxty for the Prime. Thank you to Mr. Bubbles for the Prime as well. Thank you so much for the Primers. Okay, I mean, Hans has to win this. I mean, this is, this is definitely winning for Hans. Yeah. Bishop e5? Yeah, okay, Hans wins this, so it's a must-win game for Renato here. Renato has to win the next game, um, or else it's over. It's going to be one and, a half, one and a half half here. I guess he's trying to find some way to salvage this. It's kind of odd. It's apparently rook c5 and rook c7, maybe? Because there's a fossil on g... There was a fossil... This is actually getting kind of tricky again. This is getting kind of tricky. It's still completely winning, but it's getting tricky. Takes, okay. I, I like the idea from Hans. I, I like that he did that. But Bishop B7? Oh, this is actually really tricky. I mean, Knight F5 should be winning, but it's... Takes and Bishop C6? I mean... This is not trivial after rook f2. Like, rook f2, knight g3, takes, 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 and bishop c6 with bishop b5 is not trivial at all. But Renato doesn't see it, so Hans is a little bit lucky. Wow, Renato actually just doesn't see it. Oh, what? Queen c1 and knight h4. Knight h4. Or actually, no, knight e3 actually is simpler. Wow. Why did I jinx it? Was that even winning for black or not? I'm not even sure that was winning. I'm going to look at that in a second. Yeah, I mean, Hans is up 20 seconds, so he's going to win. I don't know if that was actually winning for black. Wait, Rook takes e7? No, what is Hans doing? He's still winning, but what is Hans... I mean, he's going to win the game because of the time, but man, very, very shaky. 96, yeah, he's going to win the game, but wow. Not good. Not, he's still going to win, but man, man, not good. Not good, not good. Actually, what I want to look at before the next game starts is how winning was this. Because I'm not sure this was actually winning. Let me turn on the lines. Okay, was this actually winning after Rook F2? I'll, I'll get to the game in a second. Bishop C6. Or no, D4. White's winning. He would have Renato would have won this game if he had played Rook takes. If, if, if Renato played Rook takes F2, he would have won the game because Hans would have gone knight g3. Huge mistake by Renato to not do that. Huge mistake.
Yeah, I mean, because basically, if um, if Renato had played it right away, Hans would have played knight g3 immediately, because it's the only line where you think you're winning. So, really, 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 really big mistake by Renato. Uh, it's first to two. In the final, it's first to three. I don't understand your language. Sorry. So, yeah. So you play chess on the left monitor and handle OBS on the right monitor? Correct, yeah. That's that's my that's my setup, yeah. Correct. I think Hans is doing very well at this opening too. Um instead of knight g3, I don't know, but the thing was Renato used way too much time there. He should have just played it right away and trusted his instinct. Um, do I prefer facing Hans or Renato? I mean, I guess objectively I have to prefer facing Renato just because I perceive that Hans, even if he loses to Renato, sometimes is a better player. Although I did badly against Renato last time. I, I did the final was quite shaky. So I mean, it's like one of those things. Yeah, it's complicated. Thank you, Luke Quitos for the five months. Thank you to Fish Brain for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate Fish Brain. So yeah, I would say objectively it has to be Hans because he's a better player than Renato. I mean, has to be. You, you I mean, thank you, to jo Joyce Rosa for the Prime for the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, it's like. Meanwhile, Hans is apparently doing badly. Well, I wasn't looking. What's so bad about this takes? D four, of course. Apparently, this is really bad for Black. Although I don't really understand why. Or really bad for White, I should say. Renato does not play Title Tuesday. No, he doesn't. I don't. I don't know um, why he doesn't. But he he doesn't play in Title Tuesday that much. I mean, zero point seven is really bad. But in a blitz game, probably it's not even. I just I'm surprised by the actual valuation because I'm surprised the computer thinks Black is this much better because it doesn't feel like Black should be much better to me, especially with D five ninety six coming in. Yeah, just D five ninety six. Yeah, I'm really surprised the computer gives us this so bad for White. Like, it says minus one. Like, I'm honestly just shocked by that. Okay, but see, the problem is Renato can't make a draw here. He's going to have to play on. Okay, now I think you just take and go D6, D7. Hard to believe that that's losing, but maybe not. Yeah, this has to be D6, D7. Yeah, of course. D8. Oh, but actually, G5, H4. Yeah, this must be winning. Or not winning, but Hans is not going to lose this game. So I'm going to play him in the final. I just have to remember that it's it's 3-0. It's not 3-1. So, like, I do need to move quicker. That's the main thing to remember is that it's 3-0. Because normally when I play these uh, 960 events uh, with prize on the line, it's normally 3-1. Or there's some kind of increment. It's not just straight 3-0. Okay. Uh, first place is uh, $500. Hans is going to win this. Well, I mean, win maybe isn't a word, but he's not going to lose. So I'm going to play I'm gonna play Hans in the final. Could I stream with one monitor? It would be very hard because when you watch YouTube videos, you usually watch them on the other monitor. You don't, or not the other monitor, sorry. It would be very hard because you can't ever tab out. And so like the reason you need the second monitor is that you can watch on one, but if there's communication you need to have, you can have it on the other, other monitor. So that's what I would say. I really uh, come on, you guys, just relax. When you ask about when when you ask about you know, I uh, just trade a night, just trade and work at five, just no nonsense. This might be a draw by the way with correct with correct play, but it doesn't matter because Hans only needs a draw to get through. Okay, goes King. B I guess yeah, this is this also wins. Win this so you can buy your forty five million house on Zillow, <laughs> right? King C five, uh, King C five. Okay, yeah, I mean, okay, but he's, he's up a minute on the clock. There's nothing black can do. Best case, it's a draw. So we're going to play Hans in the final. It's going to be best of five, first two, three points. Yeah, so he resigns. All right, so we're going to play Hans in the final. 
Hans avenges his loss. Uh, I think it was a very bad loss against Renato last week because I think he should have won that match. Um, what's the point of the modern cam? You're required to have two webcams open when you play in um, when you play in uh, when you play in, in um, when you play in Arena Kings. That's the point. So I'm gonna take one more break, you guys. We're gonna come back and then we're gonna, I think we're gonna play the final against Hans. So I will be right back. What is Hans's rating? Um, I think he's around three thousand. He's about hundred points lower at nine sixty. Ratings aren't that different. Yeah, it's like 3,000, 3,100-ish. Not too different from regular. Yeah, it's about the same. But 960, of course, is quite a bit different. I just need to remember, again, like I said, it's 3 -0. There's no increment, so I can't be super slow. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? I should probably make it smaller. I mean, this is the grand final, so I might as well make this bigger. That's a little bit too big, maybe, but so be it. Okay. I think that's pretty good. Let me make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Once again, big shout out to Brave. They are the sponsor of the stream. Um, make sure to check out the Brave browser, you guys. Uh, it's Chromium-based, very similar to Google Chrome, but you can import with one click. It saves a lot of time. They're very good with ad blocking and data mining. So once again, make sure to check out the Brave. Uh, the um, make sure to check out the Brave browser. Using it is way better than Chrome. Yeah, I agree. I'm using it all the time now. What's on my left side? That's a window. You mean over there? Beyond the light where my mic microphone is, it's a window. It's a window. Yeah, they, they block it. Yeah. They're, it's good at preventing data mining. Sorry, my mistake. I misspoke wrong. Anyway, whatever. It's been a long stream, you guys. We're, we're pushing towards seven hours, so relax. Do I prefer natural light to artificial? The thing is, it's actually dark in here without without these lights on. That's the problem. It's, it's a little bit too dark. I do use Brave. Yeah, I mean, I can make a new, new browser. You'll see. Like, I do use Brave. There you guys go. You see? 48,798 trackers and ads blocked. Bandwidth saved. 41 minutes saved. There you go. Plain and simple. Uh, what happened to live chess? There we go. Thank you to Obito for the nine months. Okay, what is this? Um, I'm going to try to be more aggressive. I feel like when you get queens in the center, normally... Okay, go C5. Interesting. This, however, I think is actually quite dubious by Han somehow. Let's go here. Which way four is interesting, but I'm just gonna go here. Very clogged position. Um, I guess I'll go H3 just to stop anything like this. I think I'm actually, I'm very, I might actually just attack on the king side. Let's just go. I don't know if it's right or not, but I just want to go for it. Yeah, I've got knight, knight f5, and I mean, it's hard to judge, but I figure, like, I mean, my king should be safe. That's kind of surprising. Let's go h4. King h7 really looks wrong. I'm not sure why. Let's go here. Guess I go. I don't know if h5 is right. It's very committal, but it shouldn't really be wrong. I'm gonna go rook g1, rook g6, basically. Two pieces not in the game here. I think that what I need to do is I get to need the rook. Let's go here and here. You can obviously take, but I, I don't think it's working. Okay, it goes rook h8. I can obviously go king e2 here. I mean, if he wants to take, he can take, but I'm pretty convinced rook h1 and bishop h6 is strong. OK. 
Okay, knight f8, logical. Okay, I don't really want to play rook h1. Rook g3 is... Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, just going to trust that this is winning. Maybe it's not, but I, I've got to trust my instincts here that this is playable. I'm not 100% sure that it is, but I've got to trust my instincts. And I put the rook on the wrong square, too. Yeah, uh, that was a mistake. Or was it? Or was it? Or was it? Or was it? No, it wasn't because I have rook h1. Let's go here. And I think he's just lost. Rook h1 is game over. Yeah, he's just lost. I mean, unless I'm missing something, which I'm not. Uh, this is just GG's. Play Z4. Okay, I mean... I mean, I can... Actually, I gave him C4, I just realized. I made a mistake. I have to... Ah, I made a mistake. He's got C4, which I forgot all about. Or did I? Check. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's go with it. I don't know if it's good. Oh, he goes C3, which is kind of surprising. I could have taken two. Hmm. I don't like my position. This th th I should have remembered, like, the problem with, the, with 960 is that symmetrical positions... Uh, yeah, this is just a big mistake by me. Symmetrical positions, like, if somebody gets the center, it's very, very hard to play. I'm going to do this and hope that I'm okay. It's not pretty. This is not what I wanted to play at all. Go here. Yeah, this is what I want. This is not what I wanted to play at all. I think I will go. Wait, I have to be careful. My queen's actually in trouble too. Yeah, symmetrical positions are a big problem. Maybe I can play. How do I do this? Wait, I'm actually in real trouble here. I have to go here. Okay, knight f8. I also that's a mistake actually. Wait. That's a mistake by Hans, because now he, I can go knight e7 and take. That's a mistake. White is still probably very slightly better, but that's not the best way to play this. Because Hans let me get my development. He let me complete my development. That was a big mistake. I think. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see if it was. Maybe it wasn't. I mean, I thought it was. Because I have bishop f5. Okay, I just... Maybe it wasn't. Probably it wasn't in reality, but okay. I got it. Okay, I don't want to get. I'm actually way down on the clock. I just realized I got to move. Let's go here. Yeah, I got to be faster. I remember. I got to remember my own words. What I said before, which is that it's three. There's no increment, so I need to be fast. I can obviously castle at some point. Let's go here. Castles, I take the pawn, of course. I have knight f7. I mean, I'm going to grab. If I get trapped, I get trapped. So be it. What's the worst that can happen? I can be a Bobby Fisher. Okay, knight d3, logical. Um, yeah, this is unpleasant. I'm going to castle this way. It's not, not good for me at all. I'm going to take and go here. It's actually very bad. That one mistake in the opening really cost me. When I played C6 and I blundered, that just cost me tremendously. Okay, go C4, but I actually don't think C4 is a great move. So I think I have this. I have knight D4, I thought. And some kind of trick I thought was like knight E2. Trades. Knight G. I mean, I have to go this way. Hans misplayed this. He 100% misplayed this. I have rook d8 now, I think. Do I go bishop b3? Wait a second. Okay, think. Actually, let's just go here. Let's 
First of all, I can take, but I think I just check. Yeah, Hans misplayed this. He's not going to win now. Unless he's able to flag me, but I have 52 seconds. Okay, let's... Wait, I have rookie three, maybe? No, no, no. Don't, don't mess around. Just take and draw. Okay, I offered him a draw. He goes there. Yeah, there's no way that White can win here. He goes King D6. I think I just go here. Hans is trying to lose this, actually. Okay, now I'm gonna run the pawn though. Yeah, what is Hans doing? Did I just blunder? No, I didn't blunder, I'm winning. Let's go here. Takes, he blundered. There we go. Thank you to jo Jorms MSP for the for the ten months. Thank you. Let's keep going. Okay. Okay, now that I'm up two, it's time to stabilize a little bit. Important to stabilize here. I should not have won that game. It was a bad game. Let's go back. I think I mean let's go G three, why not? Go C3, why not? <sighs> yeah, I offered him a draw. I mean, he could have taken the draw, obviously. Okay, now I'm going to take the whole center. It might be, it, this might be too bold of me, but I, I'm going to do it. Okay. I think I'm going to develop my knights, maybe. Knight D3, knight F2. Does go F5. Okay, so let's take... Yeah, because now I don't mind. Because see, now draws are fine. I can just I can flatten the curve here. I can I can play a very flat game, and it's not a problem. I just flat I just flatten the curve, and and now he's gonna have trouble. He's gonna have to win like he's gonna have to win three in a row. That's that's why I don't mind this at all. Okay, so he goes there. So I think I'll play knight e three. Hit the, hit both pawns. Yeah, and now I can play c four, but I think I just move the king and play rookie one. I'm just gonna take this very very slow. Okay, Hans, I think, is on tilt. He just blunders a pawn in F5. And I will very gladly eat the pawn, because I love free pawns. Or did I blunder? No, I didn't blunder. I just go knight d5. Yeah. I mean, he had a draw. I offered him the draw. Okay, now now I have this. Oh, wait, I can even go here and just take. Okay, now now it's really, really pro. Let's go check. Okay, king b7. I can even just go h4. I mean, h3 is fine too. Okay, the question is, how do I win this cleanly without allowing a bunch of random counterplay? So I'm going to go here. I'm going to be really annoying. This is like me being really annoying with 97. Can't I go rook h2? Rook h1 and hit the knight? Can I just go here and here? Fork Town, USA, GG. Goodbye, good night, game over, match over, 3 0, clean finish. Okay, there we go. GG's. Three zip. Clean. Very clean. All right, you guys. We get the win 3 0, um, and that's the end of the match. So. We win the match three zip, can't complain, um, and we keep rolling right along, you guys. So pretty good stuff. Um, definitely can't complain, and and we keep moving. What is this hostility? There's no hostility, you guys. I mean, Hans is a very strong player, um, so I don't know what you're talking about with hostility. Give me a break. 
anyway, pretty good. Um, actually, so much smoother than than, than a lot of the other um, a lot of the other uh, Arena Kings I've played in. So, so yeah, we got the win three zero, and um, we keep moving moving right along. Three zip, and that's it. That's all she wrote.